I asked 50 YouTubers to send me any Pokemon they could possibly conceive of in the form of an egg for my Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. And I only received 41 eggs back because YouTubers are busy. Would I be able to beat the game with what was sent? Well, I'll give you a taste of just how crazy these Pokemon can be by opening up Alpharad's egg first, who I totally didn't get this idea from. What is the Alpharad egg, the very first egg that we're gonna hatch? And it is an Absol, woo! Clap it up for Absol. Yeah, I think I'm going to be just fine. So with my starter Alpha Rad, I was ready to take on any challenge that would be thrown at me and be sure that nothing bad would ever happen to the loving creatures that my friends had entrusted into my care. In this Nuzlocke, each encounter will be replaced by opening up one of the YouTuber eggs to use instead. We call it an egg lock, but we don't put that in the title anymore because the year is 2023 and Poketubers have finally evolved. And so have my subscribe chills. So if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know what Pokemon you would have submitted for my run because who knows, the next time I do one of these, your egg might be featured. The fun part about doing this challenge in a Sinnoh game is that you get a ton of encounters before the first gym, meaning that we will have lots of different options to choose from when deciding how to best embarrass Roark and his, uh, cranny dose. All right, let's see. Let's see who the Ouija the God egg is. It's such good, yeah! Oh, <laughs> he is powerful. This is a powerful Kern right here. Oh my God. Sun Kern might have the lowest base stat total of any Pokemon in the game, but I think that we can make up for that with this incredible moveset. So far, my friends had all been nothing but nice to me. Guts Facade Furret holding a Flame Orb, Water Absorb Mag Cargo, Wonder Guard Quagsire with freaking Dragon Dance. Yeah, this might be my freest Nuzlocke win yet. All right, this is the squad. I think this is the squad to do it. Um, I truly believe that Sunkern is one of the greatest Pokemon of all time. What's Sunkern's moveset? Oh, you'll see. You'll see why the Sunkern sweep is so real. We got the huge drought coming in and we, we blow them up. Easy, easy game. That's the power of the Sunkern sweep right there. We get the level up, <laughs> that one defense uh, the, the two HP, it might matter. It might make the difference. Okay, Onyx, we know how this one goes. We've seen this a million times. We're probably gonna get out sped here, actually, so that's gonna suck a little bit. Okay, Stealth Rocks, it's throwing, it's throwing. Okay, we have full HP. We can do this. We can do this, Sunkern, you got this. All right, now, now comes the true test. Is the Sunkern sweep real or not? Send us home, Ouija. Send us home, Sunkern. Yes! It's throwing! It's throwing! Come on, this has got to kill. It's got to kill. No way this doesn't kill. It's so powerful. Sunkern is so powerful. Yes! The Sunkern sweep is real! That is exactly how I wanted to start this out. So, who had a Sunkern sweep on their bingo sheet? From Emerald Kaizo all the way up to this wacky Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke, Sunkern has really begun establishing itself as one of the most deadly threats around. And look, I'm not going to sugarcoat things for you. This next segment of gameplay was pretty much made completely trivial by this Guts Furret. There was absolutely nothing that could withstand the power of this weasel's flaming facade. The double battle where sometimes your rival tries to kill you? Facade. The Commander Mars fight that apparently people have wiped you? Facade. IRS breaking down your door to collect those years of unpaid taxes? Facade. But before I could go sweeping Gardenia, I had to see if there was anything else that might make the sweep a little more interesting. Okay, I, I have no idea. Squirk doesn't know. I have no clue what this is gonna be. Hey, it's a little shield on. Wait, why does it have an awakening? <laughs> Let's see what happened. What is the lore? Nice, nice. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Wait. I thought I had Aspir Berry. <sighs> Awakening? <laughs> what? All right, now let's get the Aaron Itmar egg. Hopefully something good. We haven't had like any duds yet so far. Oh, it's Bidoof. It's a shiny Bidoof. All right, let's see what the Point Crow egg is. How funny are we being today? <laughs> well, there's the Pidgey. 
Oh, it's got Fissure, though. That's a funny move. Wow, what an awesome bunch of new guys that we've got now. My goal for this challenge was to find a way to use everyone's egg at least once throughout the course of my run. And I was going to find a way to do it. So when I was blessed with a certain shiny hoot hoot with a certain explosive flare, I figured that the perfect opportunity to use it was right around the corner. Nice, nice. All right, this is gonna be huge. This is where Hoot Hoot comes in to shine. Get in there, buddy. Oh, man. It shouldn't have to end this way. Rickles? It's been real. Do it, buddy! Oh! I didn't deserve it anyways. I didn't deserve it. I didn't earn it. <laughs> yeah! And that is Gardenia down. What a good plan that we had going into that. Well, that's two gym badges down and almost everyone is still safe. The good thing is there are always more eggs to hatch that can fill that empty void now very present in my heart. Oh, I didn't expect that at all. Oh, it's Leftovers Gastrodon. Oh, this is gonna be huge. Ooh, okay, now that is a shiny Ninetales. I know that for sure. Cynthia's trying to get in the egg lo You know what? For Cynthia, we'll add one more Mon. All right, yes, fine. If you will not let me progress before I take it, I guess I'll take it. Cynthia schmoozed her way into the egg. I know, she's just a big fan. Huh, so I guess even the champion of the Sinnoh region wants to get in on the egglock craze. Whoa, she sent a Togepi, that's crazy. I wonder what move she gave this thing. Um, okay, so she skimped out on an item. That's a little unfortunate. Serene Grace, okay, I like it. She she just wanted to make sure that we won the ability coin flip. And uh, Growl and Charm. And you know what? If it comes to it, I definitely will consider using this. So into the protected box of guys you go. After hatching an unexpected egg from an egg, we had a long journey to get to Heart Home City where we celebrated by getting all dressed up and somehow still losing a beauty contest despite having undeniably the most beautiful Pokemon of the bunch. All right, visual competition. Obviously, we were... Okay, uh, I think there's some election rigging going on here. Okay, we got this is where we sweep. No, 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 kill pit. Kill pit right now. Fur, incinerate it. Use flamethrower. So after quickly cleaning up that crime scene, it was time to gather more eggs to see if we would hatch anything that would be beneficial for the upcoming ghost type gym. Whoa, oh shoot. I'm not gonna say this Pokemon's name, but um... Hey! <laughs> It's feel with choice fan. Huge. Shiny sand slash. Let's go. The chat shrew. <laughs> Unless I can just figure out a way to make it work. Oh. Oh my god. Matt Shrew's back, baby. Enter Matt Shrew. The undisputed people's champ of the run. Our route four encounter was truly a godsend. Thank you, thank you. Let's go! Unknown P is back, baby! That's what I like to see. Healing Wish! This one gets to die on its own terms. Well, in reality, that was all just for show, as need you forget, the first Pokemon we hatched this run was a huge power Absol with Dragon Dance. Yeah, I think our team's going to be just fine. Yeah, huge power Absol is kind of insane. You really don't even need any setup. I think we just kill. You're kind of free. I, I hate to break it to you, but uh, it's pretty free. Let's see. Duskull, you know, pretty pretty good defense. Terrible HP stat. But yeah, it, it's not taken. Yeah, it's over. It was real, Fantina. I appreciate it. Plus the life orb. Like, yeah, no, no, you're not. You have no chance. Okay, unless you hit me with that. <laughs> if we don't hit through, we're going to be in trouble. Come on, lucky. Always lucky. Massive. too free <laughs> i never doubted for a second if this was the captain kid absol it's absolutely killing itself in confusion right there all right that's pantina down woo huge power life orb absol pretty good thank you jacob by now the team was really starting to take major form as we were constantly adding solid pokemon after solid pokemon to the team and without any deaths things were just getting easier and easier I was still finding little niches for the team here and there, but most of the game just revolved around me spamming through each battle with my guts facade for it and then coming up with a creative team to fight the big bosses. Needless to say, if anything were to happen to this fur, the entire run could become compromised. I guess it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and hatch some more eggs in the very unlikely event that I managed to find a way to get this fur killed. Hey! 
it's shiny too. Oh, the shiny Gligar. Yes. What is the dad is heck egg? <laughs> Cast form. No, you know what? That is a that is a dad as heck Pokemon if I've ever seen one. All right, Quinn gave us something with a quick claw. I feel like it was bound to happen at some point. Is this the one? <laughs> quick claw Blissey. I never could have guessed that one. It has Trace as its ability, and. Okay, we got the shiny Swampert. We are collecting all the water ground types. If we don't get Wish Cash by the end of this, I'm going to be very upset. Oh, Vernius. Okay, we found the Vernius one. All right. Is it going to be pink? Is it going to be lovable? Shinx! It is a very lovable Pokemon, but it's not pink. I would have expected it to be pink. Okay, we got Giwi's Egg. I mean, there's. is there even a good worm? <laughs> That's a pretty good worm. All right. The final Pokemon of this batch, the Drew Egg. This one does, in fact, have an item. <laughs> TM67. Uh, maybe we will get some explanations when this thing hatches. Oh, it's slow, bro. Sometimes it's the people no one imagines anything of who do the things that no one can imagine. Wow, that is that is deep, Drew. Yeah, I think that'll do the trick. Turns out that asking a bunch of hardcore Nuzlockers for submissions is a pretty surefire way to make sure you get some useful stuff. I guess all there is to do now is roll up on Maylene with this team of absolute units. And who better than the cute little guy, Shinx? This is the genius that Vernius cooked up. Uh, I think we just gotta start with that. <laughs> she said immediately, she was like, I can't deal with that. that nope, nope. Okay, give me something good. Massive, huge lava plume. What a prediction. Okay, that did not do nearly as much damage as I hoped. This is the only move she can hit me with. Nice try, bucko. You're done. You're done. Sorry, Maylene. It's GG's. You know what? I might as well just stay in. Why not? Why not? We'll see how much damage Glyscore can do. And there she goes. <laughs> there was like no gimmick to that one at all. Crazily enough, after all these easy battles, I almost found myself craving some of those Truant Splash Mons that have become a staple of YouTuber egg logs. I feel like he intentionally made my favorite Pokemon worthless. Let's test that theory. Truant Flame Orb Splash. I'm telling you, content creators have one joke because all of these submissions were way too creative and useful for me. The only death up to this point was a certain Hoot Hoot's very calculated and explosive demise. So what exactly would I have coming up that would scare me now? Oh, right. A very uncalculated and destructive one. They, they stand no chance. All right, let's bring in our, <laughs> let's bring in our big balls. All right, kickflip. Let's see what you got. Let's get this massive weather ball going. Oh, look at this synergy. Man, the sun curtain synergy goes crazy. Uh, that crit probably mattered. <laughs> All right, well, we... Let's be real here. We, we know how this goes. <laughs> no! No! Clefair! Oh, my God! No! Oh! <laughs> oh, my God! Lucas, what is with you and your propensity to kill my Pokemon? <clears throat> Anyways, I should probably hatch some more eggs in case I plan on spending any more time around this Ekrexiphiliac. Which may or may not be a word. I don't know. This dude just loves explosives. Let's see. Smith holding a master ball. Oh, it's just a little, little shiny Turtwig guy. Oh, Tuesday and Moxie back to back. Perfect. <laughs> Mr. Mime. Uh, what's its signature move? Roar of Time. Special ability download. Oh, oh, it's the shiny Ghastly. Hey, of course. Of course, it had to be something from the Ghastly line. Oh, Life Orb Gallade. Okay. Shiny do. Oh, shoot. Okay. Salamence with Sleep Talk. Adaptability Flame Orb. I like it. All right, the Peach Owl Egg. I would guess Zangoose. The level one read is assuming that everybody sends their favorite Pokemon. Hey, all right, well, it's gotta be Gut Swallow, right? It's gotta be. No, I, I, I know Yawn would be too creative with this. It's toxic. 
Do not teach any attacking moves. He is defensive pilot. Back from the grave and way too scared to do anything ever again. Okay. Yeah, this one's got the deep lore. Crasher Wake would try and be the counter wave to put an end to this never ending rampage, but this might have very well been the gem that my team was best equipped to handle. Drought Sunkern, Water Absorb Mag Cargo, the speediest tortoise that you've ever seen. Oh, and need I forget that Wonder Guard Quagsire that's been chilling back in the box this whole time. We don't have anything to worry about. All right, come on, crit, crit through it. Just kill it, just kill it. Okay, that's not too very much. All right, show them the power of the water absorb. Ha! <laughs> I actually don't know how the water absorb AI works in this game though. I don't know if, uh, surely he still knows that I have it. So maybe we don't do that. Maybe we go into this. Oh, you're only, you're faster than me, but not for long. Not for long, mark my words, Quagsire. There we go. Massive. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Unfortunately, we're going to be put to sleep. <laughs> All right, I've got a plan. He Floatzel's having a good time. He definitely is. Uh, I don't think that he knows that I have water absorb. <laughs> There's no way that this guy remembers. Uh, but I don't really have a whole lot that I can do to him. Idiot. He thought he thought he could get away with it. He forgot. I guess I can just ember. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. Yep. That's that's a lot of damage. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, well, we, we know how this one goes. We'll just go into this to see what happens. Okay, it is Ice Fang. You know what, we're just gonna kill it. <laughs> it's been taking too long. All right, and Crash Wake falls. Yeah, it takes a lot of strategy to throw in the Wonder Guard Pokemon. I mean, look, at some point, things are going to have to get harder during this run, right? Bop. Bop, you think Grottle's gonna be, wait, what? Oh, it missed? Oh, dude, fog sucks, man. Okay, this is, uh, it's actually a little scary. <laughs> no! <gasps> no! Yeah, eh, that's not quite what I meant. How will I ever recover from this awful tragedy? Another furret! Redemption! <laughs> It's not shiny, but I won't kill this one. I promise. I'm going to keep this one alive. Heck yeah, I guess that works. But Byron's high defense having steel types might not be the best showcase for our brand spanking new long boy. Not to mention, I would feel real dumb if I had another furred accident immediately after that previous foggy fumble. Speaking of accidents, how many people do you think have died in Byron's gym? I think I really only need like one dragon. I, I actually probably don't even need to dragon dance at all. Actually the play, here's the play right here. Just click the earthquake button and win. You know, I think it actually might be okay to just do that. Swampert's just that good. Uh, I don't know though. Bastiodon might be able to take this EQ. My last one. This is where we make our stand. And then I click earthquake. And there we go. Down goes Byron, the easiest gym leader yet, but we got to use the Marsh Stomp. See, now that's more like it. These are the types of sweeps I've become accustomed to over the course of this run. Hmm, that's weird. Almost sounded like an explosive just went off somewhere in the distance. Maybe it was Lucas again. Huh? What's that? I've received intelligence that Team Galactic actually has committed an act of domestic terrorism, so uh, it sounds like me and Ferd are going to have to play cleanup crew. How would you rank like the the terrorist acts of all the uh, the different orgs? You know what, Toxicro? You don't even scare me, bro, because I know you're not taking this. I know you're not taking this huge power choice banded return from our boy Furret. Uh, I'm gonna click Sucker Punch. Oh wait, that's right. <laughs> Forgot we're banded. Cause we don't even care. We're just gonna kill this Bronzor through it. This is just a, uh, hey, go see how many of these Team Galactic guys you can beat up. Hello, Lucas. Do you need help here? I lost her, but just barely. Oh, so she's weakened. This is perfect. Oh wow, this team looks very familiar. <laughs> it's almost like the one we just fought. I wonder if the outcome will be different this time. Oh yeah, we know how this one goes. Sorry, Bronzor. Not even you. I mean, not like I would expect you to. You're you're kind of a just a little guy right now. I don't know why you're not a Bronzor. I don't know why they didn't evolve you. Oh, he lived! Oh my god. Well, Broadsword just shut it down. Shouldn't have made fun of him, I guess. Uh-oh. It's gonna do nothing. <laughs> Alright. I think he is... <laughs> Man, Broadsword is not having a good day right now. Uh, it's gonna be even worse when he dies to this Fire Blast. A little bit of overkill. Just a little bit. And as a result of doing all that Good Samaritan work, my reward is... 
Hatching more eggs. All right, who is the Josh egg? I don't know anything about Josh's opinions on Pokemon. Uh, oh, shiny Magnezone. Okay, well, they're all of a sudden valid. Let's check out the signature move. Uh, <laughs> okay, rest. Wait, he put, when we asked, what is your Pokemon signature move? He just said sleep. Another Quagsire, bro. Let's see what this one's gimmick is. So it's holding Lucky Egg uh, with the egg bomb. I love it. I love it. Okay. There he is. What? Look at uh, He's awesome, dude. He's all stanced up. What is your signature move? <laughs> Sweet kiss. Okay. A very affectionate and loving Poliwhirl. Focus Sash. I feel like that can only mean like one thing. Oh, it's Totodile. Aw. He's so cute. Okay, that is not what I was expecting. Through the entire egg lock with no onyxes. Clap it up. Clap it up, everybody. We're moving on from the meme. The finale. Just a little guy holding some honey. There's a little guy. It's a shiny whooper. He is awesome. <laughs> um, a very, very affectionate whooper. I like it a lot. And that's the last of them. All 41 eggs have now been hatched. The remainder of the run will be about finding ways to use the rest of the stragglers that I haven't quite been able to find a usage for just yet. Luckily, our next gym challenge will be a perfect opportunity to test out some of the new blood. The only problem is that I can never seem to remember this gym leader's name. Any of you in the comments able to help me out here? We're bringing in all the best guys. All right, Hazal makes his first appearance. Don't fail us. Don't let us down. Come on, this gyro ball has got to be insane. It's gonna do, so oh my God. <laughs> I was like, no way. You can't blunder this badly on your first ever appearance. They oh my God, you didn't even kill. <laughs> all right, you know what? That's that's all you get. I'm not I'm not saving you. Unfortunate. Let's, uh, let's get an AP boost here. Come on, show me the boost, boost, boost. Shoot. All right, Cade, make it happen. You're gonna have to eat this up. Eat this up, Sunkurt. You got this. No damage. No damage. Oh my god. All right. It's gonna be... Shoot. <laughs> oh, that one hurts. We've got this... Oh, we've come so far with this sun curd. Low roll? Oh. Man. It's okay, Job. Go get him. No! You weren't supposed to do that. Oh, now that sucks. Okay, Job. We're on a timer now. This is scary. Oh, okay. They're like, all right, see ya. I got nothing for this. I feel like this is the old, this is the most wholesome way for all tribe to go down. With his big stick, <laughs> he can take out the Obama snow on everybody's favorite seventh gym leader. <gasps> and there he goes. Boom. All right. There we go. Oh, man. It's been a bloodbath so far. We're getting absolutely demolished okay well we know that this is gonna be just just the most annoying thing so we're gonna do this all right yep cool wow awesome thanks you know we have the win condition it's just that it's gonna take us a little while to get there because now wait wait i have the ultimate counter you cannot defeat me frost lass for i have brought oh my god we might actually lose this battle if uh if she's got heals we're in trouble yes he's doing it oh come on just two more Oh my God. <laughs> All right, guys, we got this. Don't worry. I was never even a little bit worried. Watch, we're gonna hit this hydro pump. That's how That's how sick this med cargo is. Or, or not. Okay, well, go out on your own terms, Frostless. <laughs> Whoo, wow, that was a gym battle. So, that wasn't good. Little did I expect this gym leader of all people to be the biggest challenge that we had faced to this point. I obviously tried to get a little bit too cute with it and underestimated some of her Pokemon, namely you, but we made it out with minor casualties and we're able to begin preparing for our eighth and final gym badge. However, before we can do that, we need to take care of Team Galactic and all of their very, very evil deeds that they are currently doing. Uh, don't look at me. I'm not doing anything nefarious. I'm totally supposed to be here. Okay, I uh, don't know if I want to take that. I feel surely I'm supposed to go through the stairs here. <laughs> yeah, the press A to win RPG, especially when I'm going through these sections. It's like, I'm just trying to get through as quickly as I can. 
Uh-oh, what's going on here? That's a lot of Team Rocket grunts. Imagine if you had a, a hack of this game where you have to fight all these guys and some massive gauntlet. You only get one team. Maybe somebody's already done it. Maybe it's already been done. Big lie, what? He was lying this whole time? How could he? All right, he's not ready for this. He's not ready for what Joe's about to hit him with. Joe's about to hit him hard. Boom, see ya. Nice try. You really thought this crowbat was gonna come out and do something crazy? Oh, dude, they always hit those. Why can't I be as lucky as the AI? Classic. Yeah, th this could just happen. It's very possible that this just keeps happening. I, I believe though. No way, never three times in a row. Jesus, dude. Oh, yep. Okay, now we got crit. We probably got flinched too. All right, we're gonna is it four. Make it four. Okay, we finally got through. Easy game. All right, we took way, way more damage there than I would have expected, but he's gonna nightshade me here. Easy switch. Easy switch into my normal type. Yep. Nice try, Bucko. Have fun in hell. Well, I guess we'll see him again. <laughs> That's the Squirk luck for real. Yeah, honestly, a bad combo. Combining me and Squirk's luck, uh, I was kind of asking for it there. <laughs> well, now that he's been taken care of, I'm sure that guy won't be an issue for us any longer. Dude, Cyrus, can you chill for like a second? Oh, Giratina, you're here too? Is that the same one I hatched earlier? Did I cause this? Weird. But also one whose name was never to be spoken. We're just sitting there like, ooh, I've got one of those in my party right now. We gotta go into the hole. Surely nothing will go wrong if we enter the distortion world. Uh-oh, I think we found him. Oh, we're going down. We're going deep into the depths. Feels like it should be right, but oh, whoa. Uh-oh, <laughs> hello, Cyrus. So that is my justice. No one can interfere. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna try. I guess I have, you know, if nobody else is going to stop him, I might have to be the one. I don't know why Cynthia's not going to do it, but I guess I'll just, you know. It's like, how many times do I need to teach you this lesson, old man? How many huge power returns do I need to hit you with? I really just want to hit this haunch crow. I kind of want to just sweep him with fur it. We go again. <laughs> Who needs other Pokemon when you have the power of fur it? Yo, Cyrus, check this out. Look what I got here, man. Look at this cool Pokemon that I got. You want to see the power of Giratina? I'll show you the power of Giratina. This is one strong worm. I want to see, you know, all that time if he's hit, been hitting the gym. Let's see how much he can do. We're going for it. Come on, Joe. Come on, hold. Hold, Joe, hold. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Mess up that Weavile. He takes another. Cyrus's true nemesis, Joe, after he's been hit in the gym. Okay, hopefully this time it goes better. As long as it doesn't click Confuse Ray, I'm totally fine with that. No, 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 not again, not again. We'll get through for sure, for sure. Yes, yes! Cyrus, you're so free, man. Just got beat by a little Machop. A little Machop and a little Furret. Just swept your whole team. Come on, Cyrus, I expected better. Let's go meet Giratina. I mean, didn't you like, didn't you, did you not just watch that battle? Only one worm can prevail. Get rid of the imposter. <laughs> we have a level 100 Among Us player with us. You could never, you could never, Giratina. Uh-oh. All right, watch this. Tricked ya. Tricked ya. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> Easy game. Oh. This Giratina thought, they thought that they could outsmart me, but I simply have the more powerful worm. Okay, now we can actually focus on obtaining our eighth and final gym badge. Although I don't think my body has quite recovered from being in the distortion world just yet. At this point, you all have seen the massive amount of fantastic water types that I've accumulated over the course of this challenge. So I thought what better way to take on the electric type gym leader than with a team full of them? Who cares about a stupid type chart? We are gonna absolutely destroy this electric type gym with our entire team of six water types. If this, no, this is definitely gonna kill. Who am I kidding? <laughs> oh, the crit, the huge crit too. All right, we gotta, we gotta egg bomb the Raichu. Hit him with it. Nice focus miss. Oh, egg bomb though, we hit those. We hit those 100% of the time. 
Oh, another miss? And then double egg bomb hit. That's what I'm talking about. Please thunder punch. Please thunder punch me. I know you want to kill me so bad. You don't know I have volt absorb. Come on, thunder punch. Thunder punch me. Do it. Do it. Yes. Okay, come on. Live. Live. Don't get paralyzed. That'd be so sad. Come on, proc focus sash. Yes. Okay. Come on, toad and aisle. <laughs> oh, it's quick attack. That's why I was supposed to use it against the Luxray. Okay, oops. All right, Volkner. Sorry that I showed up with four water ground types. Yup, just as I had planned it. Now all there was left to do was take on the Elite Four and claim our rightful place as the Sinnoh Champion. So after, you guessed it, breezing through Victory Road on the back of one overly powerful and overly friendly Furret, we finally washed ashore at the gates of the Pokemon League. And eagerly ready to show the guards my shimmering badges, I accidentally ran into the rival fight. Well, good thing I had the final five Pokemon waiting to be used that weren't members of my Elite Four team. How convenient. All right, buddy, your team's looking a little underleveled, I gotta say. All right, the pilot, though with no attacking moves, it's the retired pilot. Oh, you think that close combat's gonna do anything to me? I've got so much defense, you fool. I feel like if we get enough double teams set up, then we can just, I feel like he might just go into his Floatzel, in which case, I think I just stay in at that point. I think he's gonna heal. Oh, nope, I lied. Does my boy Barry not have any heals? Can't believe this guy forgot full restores, that's crazy. Okay, let's, we can't get frozen. Look at this set, dude. Look at this set. Oh my God. I want to use the, the ones that haven't been used yet, but like, why would I? I said I was going to use everybody's egg and we're doing it. This little Turtwig is not going to die. Nope, he's going to eat this Ice Fang and it's... Look at him. He just takes a crit. Look at... The Floatzel said, I'm out. I got a dip. <laughs> Come on, no way we get the one in four. It's only a 25% chance. It's not going to happen. It's going to like air release me. Unfortunate, dude. All right, sorry, Moxie. <laughs> well, I was supposed to get a Destiny Bond off, but I didn't think that you'd come in on the 25% the chance random move. Okay, I really just wanted to bring Pilot back out. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, to be honest, I'm sure that Turtwig probably would have died to... It probably would have been random move no matter what HP. That's a crit. Holy moly, dude. All right, that's fine. We got roost, too. We got, pl we got, we sit, we could sit here for days. We've kind of already done, uh, I feel like we've just done our job on everything. This guy's Snorlax has, hey, we got crit twice? No way he crit back to back. Oh, you're kidding me, dude. I have a plan. Um, all right. With your dying wish, Izzy. <laughs> oh, seven for your friend Smith. This is all like setting up to be just a horrible wipe. Come on, Turtwig, live. Come on, Smith. With Izzy's dying wish, you got this. Uh, I have no idea if I'm faster. Okay, we're not. <laughs> Come on, live, 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 live. Turns out that the uh, the final squad, I guess there's a reason that they never came out. <laughs> that was definitely getting into a uh, little bit of scary territory. What if they just sent you right in after this? They're like, okay, well, you just beat this guy, so. That one also went just as planned. Man, based on our last few fights, what could possibly go wrong with this Elite Four? The team was star-studded, consisting of Alpharad, the huge power Absol that started it all. Hatters, the huge power Furret that has carried on the legacy of all Furrets. Flygon HG, the Garchomp slaying Spiel, that somehow also has huge power. Deezus. The Stinky Smasher, who I thought was a toxic Jimbro up until this very moment. And lastly, and most importantly, Stefan Sunny, the No Guard, Sheer Cold, Quick Claw Holding Shedinja. Because when has a Quick Claw in the Elite Four ever come back to haunt me? Oh, and the Wonder Guard Quagsire, just in case something went wrong. Anyways, with this impeccable team, there was no chance of failure. This isn't even a challenge. <laughs> Let's see how good this bug Pokemon is. For two years, I've been hyping up the power of the Quick Claw. Let's see if it returns the favor. Stefan, if this doesn't work, you're getting banned from my chat. But the Quick Claw! 
Mods, ban that guy. Uh, let's see if this Pokemon can do it. <laughs> let's see. I don't know, Stefan. Flygon HG looking like he might be a better Nuzlocker. That's, that's all I can say. Maybe we just use this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this is hype. This is the high-level gameplay that you guys are here for. Isn't it so cool when your Pokemon can't get hit? That's one down. Do we revive him? All right. For the redemption, second time's the charm. <laughs> yeah. Who needs the quick claw? You think this Gliscor is going to do anything? We killed five generations of Gliscor with that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know if I believe in it that much. So we're going to go into our totally authentic electric immunity here. You know, this, uh, this is a pretty good Pokemon that we got sent. I'm, you know, I'm glad Subi sent me this. I was expecting six quick claw procs. It didn't happen. So I, I just, my hand was kind of forced, unfortunately. Oh, there's, they are not ready for this. Flint, you, you don't even know what's coming. It is ready to go to town. You thought sweeping with Wonder Guard was lame. Bro, you think you're gonna mock punch me, bro? You didn't even try it. You're not even trying, man. Oh, you're gonna try and come in with Deflareon? You're gonna try and will a whisky? You think you're gonna be able to stop it? No. Canonically, Furret is now the most powerful Pokemon in the entire universe. This is for Jess, the one that I accidentally <laughs> got killed. There's no fog around to save you now. That's the only way that you'd be able to make it out of this alive. I'm sorry. I hate to say it, but uh, how does it feel, Flint? How does it feel? You know, I don't think I want to mess around too much. I think I just want to uh, annihilate them. Let's uh, him with a nice little Night Slash. Oh, he's faster than me. Awesome. God, mime, mime is just cracked. I was worried about getting hit with Thunderbolt, but uh, it was just already faster than me. So I know I almost got mime time. That was pretty scary. Okay, so he's going to drain punch me. I believe in the power. I believe in the power. Huge power, Absol. It's too powerful. Okay. Okay. That one could have gotten scary. All right, Alakazam. Uh, hate to break it to you. Uh, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> it's. I think it's just going to be an Alpharad sweep. All right, no more light screen. I'm going to greed. I'm going to go for one. You know, we got to click the we got to click the signature move at least once. Okay, huge, huge. All right. Now I think I can get away. I'm I'm pretty sure I can just click sucker punch well i guess i only get a couple tries at it oh okay he was gonna hit me was it enough is it plus one huge power life orb absol enough to kill bronzong wow would you look at that it is what a surprise who could have guessed i have no idea if i needed that dragon dance or not but i'm uh, i'm glad that it paid off <laughs> have you been keeping well whoa she was the champion this whole time uh-oh let's see our eggs have gotten us this far, but will they continue to be enough? Will it continue to be enough? Will huge power life orb Absol still be able to do it? Let's find out. Spear tomb, you know, pretty good defense, but it doesn't matter. It is simply too strong. Psycho cut right now? Whew, don't mind if I do. You want to send out Roserade? Let me just psycho cut it up. Oh, Lucario? Shoot, I'll just do it to that. So why, why not? I'll just go for it. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> no, Absol lives these. Absol 100% lives these. It's totally going to be fine. Absol... <laughs> All right, so I might have gotten a little bit overzealous, but that is because I wanted to use my friend Jesus. It is all culminated to this. The stinkiest smasher. He's so angry. He just has to let it all out. Okay, well, I don't even know if this will be enough to kill it. I'm hoping that it is. Uh, well, <laughs> simply outspeed it and kill it. Oh, it's going to be tense. Sure would be embarrassing to just end up winning with our... Uh... God, this guy's back again? I almost want to try it. I almost feel like it might it, i feel like it might oh it has extreme speed i keep forgetting okay well <laughs> oops sorry about that one for it no 
All right, well, are they going to switch again? Nope. Okay. All right, I know you got some of those full restores left. I know you've been saving a few of those. Yeah, yeah, Reggie like a book. No, we're fine. We, we eat a shockwave. Actually, we don't, even, we don't even need to. We just kill here with Ice Shard. It's going to be too free. Too free! The little Sfeel, the little guy. He's just rolling around. He's rolling his way to a dub. Uh, come on, you can take these. You can take these. <laughs> Look, Sfeel eats these every day of the week. What did I say? What did I say? I told you. Sfeel was going to eat those. <laughs> Please send out Garchomp. <laughs> I don't think there's any way we can kill Garchomp otherwise. Send it out. Send it out. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> All right, this is what we've been saving it for all this time for this moment right here. The Flygon HG sweep, the Spiel sweep. Yep, how does it feel? How does it feel, Garchomp? You never had any chance. Your fate was sealed from the beginning. As soon as we hatched this egg, we knew what it was destined to do. It was destined to kill that Garchomp. And you know what? I can't let you die. When everybody else failed, <laughs> you get to live. Despite absolutely flubbing and getting a bunch of my friends killed, Suvi is there to right all of our wrongs. So Suvi and Flygon bring it home for us as the rest of them <laughs> unfortunately go down. And he wants to evolve. Look, he's just, he's like, what? I did it. See, yet again, just as I had planned it, a flawless champion victory. Thanks so much to everyone who submitted an egg for me to use during this run. And you, yes, you about to click off this video. Don't forget to leave a comment before you go, letting me know which Pokemon you would want me to use for my next egg lock, where I take viewer suggested eggs. Anyways, click on this video on screen after leaving your comment. I know you'll like it even better than this one. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, huge power. Oh, very original. I like it.